Hi guys! Today I'm gonna show you of the basic setup for a Raspberry Pi computer set. First one is you need to have a Raspberry Pi. So my version here is a Raspberry Pi 3 model B+. I also have here for the basic setup is the mouse, the keyboard, and the, the power source for the, our Raspberry Pi. Also the monitor. You can use any other monitors that can be interfaced with the Raspberry Pi. You just have to choose those with an HDMI port. So for the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi's um, common features are the following. It has its LAN port, 4 USB ports, it, ha it has an audio jack, an HDMI port, of course the power source, and for the much complicated projects, we have its pins inside for those automation projects that you want to build using the Raspberry Pi. This black one is my heatsink, so it will cool faster. Also, it has its interfaces inside that you can integrate with Raspberry Pi compatible sensors and other boards. Basically, the power source of this Raspberry Pi is only 5 volts. My power source is, is 5 volts, 2.1 amperes, which basically, uh, in layman's term, you can use your chargers for your cell phones to power up the Raspberry Pi. So today, I'm going to show you how this works. So basically, I have two operating systems that I have installed because the Raspberry Pi only needs a micro SD card to install your operating system. Like for example, this one. Um, I have a Raspbian operating system on one SD card and on the other one is the Windows 10 operating system. Let's see. So let's first attach the the keyboard and the mouse. So my keyboard will be on one of its USB ports here. One USB port and then the mouse as well on it one of its USB port. And then we will be plugging this one on our wall socket to power up the Raspberry Pi. Okay, and let's put the power here. As you can see, this is for the powers, power source. is for the power source as you can see it's lighted already and since I'm using my smart TV as temporary monitor I, I need to switch it on the power source so again you just have to connect this HDMI cable to the HDMI port of the Raspberry Pi And then connect it the other one to your monitor. Once you connected it, you just have to click the active port. So again guys, um, we have now run the Windows 10 operating system through our Raspberry Pi which is a tiny computer. This is also very affordable with its multi-functional ports that you can, you can also attach an external drive. So for example, I have here a UTP cable I 
I can also attach a external hard drive. So Raspberry Pi and Windows 10. In order to have better for performance, you also need to have a higher RAM Raspberry Pi. So basically, as you can see, I have all already here the Windows 10 interface using the Raspberry Pi. So let's try using my keyboard now. Um, password. So let's input the password. We're now logging in into the Windows 10 interface. So this is like a new one, a new Windows 10 operating system. As you can see, um, the default applications here are Recycle Bean and Microsoft Edge. I can also connect, we can still install um, other programs here. Like for if you want to deploy this to the schools, we just need some like drivers for printer because that's the basic, uh, the basic one. Unfortunately, um, the built-in Wi-Fi for the Raspberry Pi is not working on Windows 10. But I'm gonna show you um, the, the LAN port that you can use and you can also buy the common Wi-Fi adapter that you use on your personal computers. You can also put it here because it has four USB ports and for the different programs inside um, this Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi, as you can see, just look at this one. So it still has a lot of programs here, as you can see. So basically guys, that's uh, the setup with Raspberry Pi and Windows 10. And of course, I'm featuring the legendary Solitaire Collection. That's it guys, and I also want to show you the Raspbian setup.